Today I'll be showing you how I make my raspberry lemonade cold processed soap bars. These are honestly one of my favorite fragrances just because they smell amazing and smells exactly how you think a glass of raspberry lemonade would smell like. These are made with cocoa butter, coconut oil, and a bunch of other wonderful ingredients. Depending on your skill level, these might be kind of difficult to make just because I use multiple colors in these and being able to move fast enough before the soap base hardens is a must. The frosting can also be kind of finicky if you're not used to making soap frosting. Be sure to read the description box for the full recipe. Here is everything I use, including my two 52 ounce soap molds, mica powders, utensils, and fragrance oil soaked in kale and clay. Here are my base oils and my frosting oils. Once all melted, I place them to the side to cool along with my lye water. When making a soap base with frosting on top, I like to soap with my base oils at room temperature, usually anywhere from 80 to 90 degrees with my lye water being cooler than the oils. Once everything is cooled and I've added my sodium lactate to my lye water, I start blending to a light trace using my stick blender. I'm now splitting my batch into three equal parts so I can add my colors. A general rule of thumb is to use around a half teaspoon of mica per pound of soap. However, I love my soaps to be bright and colorful, so I sometimes do use a little more than what is called for. Just be sure not to use too much mica because your soaps can bleed if you use too much. Once all your mica and your fragrance oil mixed with kale and clay has been added to your colors, mix all the colors to a light to medium trace and add them to your soap mold. I used the drop pour technique to achieve the swirls in these soaps. It's a really easy technique and once I'm done I use a stick to swirl the tops. Whenever I make soap frosting, my lye water is usually around 60 degrees and my oils are usually around 70 degrees. The colder the frosting is, the better because it'll harden up faster. With practice, I also found that using cocoa butter for soap frosting really helps to make the frosting hard, but not too hard. Once everything is mixed to a frosting-like consistency, I add it to my piping bag and start piping the tops of my soap.
Make sure not to overmix the frosting because if it's too hard and overmixed, you can't use it. Once I've added my frosting, I add my Himalayan pink salt and my soap embeds. completed soap. Once I'm done, I spray the tops with rubbing alcohol to avoid soda ash and keep them in the mold for 24 hours. Once they're cut, I let them cure for four weeks and then they're ready to be sold. These smell absolutely amazing and are honestly one of my favorite designs that I have. Be sure to check the description box for a full list of ingredients. Thanks for watching. Thank you.